A7 has been talked about for quite some time now, ever since Audi first showed us the Sportback concept at the 2009 Detroit Motor Show. And in fact, that concept was even displayed at the Delhi Auto Expo in January, remember? Well, the car derived from it is here. A simple yet classy affair at the Museum of Modern Art in Munich saw the A7 making a grand entry. And the great news is that its debut marks the design language debut for Audi Cars 2. So expect the next A6, for example, to look just as striking, if not more. Now, all the attention this car is getting is focused a lot around the design because A, this is a static presentation and B, well, even the company has been stressing on just the design aspect. I'm starting off at the rear because this is the sport pack and really what characterizes and emphasizes this styling is what's going on at the back. So look at how low slung this line is. It comes all the way down swooping and goes into a very abrupt rear end back here which is almost straight down. And uh, the reason I'm talking about that is because, well, it's a throwback to some of the classic styling you saw in sports cars in the 60s and that's what the designers have also intentionally gone after. This little strip here, well that's a spoiler which pops up only during high speed driving, so can't show you that right now. And uh, well, the point about this being a four-door coupe, why does that become so important? Well, if you think about it, uh, the kind of competition that Audi has to go after right now, you do manage to strike out very, very successfully at uh, the Mercedes CLS, clearly. Ford Coupe, they're the guys who started that. But besides that, the interesting rear end also gives you a chance to go ahead and strike out at the 5 Series GT Gran Turismo from BMW. So interesting, but look at how low slung this design is. It comes with all those big, big features that you can think of, like, uh, well, the rimless doors, shut the door, it sucks itself in. So you've got all of that. But when you talk about styling, take a look at the front end too. And here is where there's a very interesting line again. Take a look at this aggressive line that comes down and then just again drops off into the aggressive, aggressive face. Very, very stylic, stylistic. And you've got the signature LED running through the headlamp cluster. Lots of layering again. Very sharp fog lamp treatment. But this is where these styling elements, let's say, we have seen before from Audi. So uh, think about the A5, the S5, and you can get the same sort of aggression, the same kind of a look that comes through Interesting use of chrome up front, again, very subtle and yet lots of chrome. So the big four ring logo and the deep chin grille, all of that rounds off what's looking like a very aggressive package. And I have to mention the color, a sand beige, brown, whatever you want to call it. Well, you wouldn't expect model premieres to be done in this color, but that's an interesting move from Audi because it doesn't take away then uh, from the actual car itself. So had it been a flashy flamboyant color, well, then perhaps uh, you might have noticed that more than the, more than the design. All of this seems to work. There's great response from the world press here. And that's your first look at the new A7 from Audi.